Yesterday, Ireland joined only three other countries, alongside them Belgium, Spain and Malta, in demanding that Israel institute an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. Here's what its Foreign Minister, Michal Martin, had to say on the matter. There has to be and must be a humanitarian ceasefire um, immediately. We'll be asking that uh, support would go to the Secretary General of the United Nations in respect of his quest uh, and the efforts that he is making to bring about such humanitarian ceasefire. And here's the problem with the Irish approach. Demanding that Israel agree to an unconditional ceasefire isn't a statement that's in any way congruous with so-called neutrality. Demanding that Israel institute a ceasefire without preconditions is the exact same as asking Israel to forego its very legitimate military objective of destroying Hamas. It's asking Israel to accept only your very selective interpretation of proportionality and the application of international humanitarian law. It's backseat driving Israel's war effort and asking it to tolerate, for an indefinite and open-ended period, a terrorist entity on its doorstep which is not only hell-bent on its destruction, but determined to repeat, time and time again, the atrocities of October 7th, including beheading civilians, raping women and mowing down partygoers. It's asking for Israel to give Hamas time and space to rearm, regroup and re-strategize and prepare again to do exactly that. Demanding a ceasefire without preconditions isn't neutral, it's pro-Hamas, it's pro-terror, and it's certainly very anti-Israel.